In this video, we'll be going over remove elements. So give me a array nums and a value val. Remove all instances of that value in place and return the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array by input array in place with all of one extra memory. The order of elements can be changed. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the new length. So in our first example, we have 3, 2, 2, 3, and our target value is 3. So we want to remove all instances, instances of 3. So we remove this 3 and this 3. So we only have 2 left. So basically what we want to do is to shift all the values that we do not delete to the front. And then we return the length of the new array. Now let's, uh, let's go over the thought process. So we can implement a two-pointer approach. One pointer i will be on the left side to populate elements that we do not want to remove. And then one pointer J will scan forward to the right to find elements that we do not want to remove. We will skip all of the elements that is equal to val. Then we will place all of the elements that is not equal to val at pointer j, uh, pointer i before moving i forward. Then after j goes out of bound, the pointer j goes out of bound, we have processed all of the elements. Then the value of j uh, of i will be the length of the resulting list. Now let's go over pseudocode. We're going to create two variables. Uh, actually just one variable is enough. So I, the current left pointer, the current left pointer to populate values that is not equal to val. And when iterate do the, iterate do the indices of the input array, if nums denote it as j. If the current elements is not equal to val, then we can move this elements to pointer j. So set nums i to the current elements, nums j. Then we'll increment i, moving i forward. Then we can return i, which is the length of the new array, the resulting array. Now let's go over to time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of n, where n is the length of the input array. Because we visit each index once with pointer j. Then our space complexity is equal to O of 1, because we modify the input array in place. Let's go over the code. So we're going to create our left pointer i, and then we're going to iterate through all of the indices of the input array. This is our second pointer. Then if the current element is not equal to value, then we want to move this element to the front to pointer i, so nums i, and then we can post increment i after setting the current elements at that index. And we can return the value of i. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section, section below. Like and subscribe if you would like more videos that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics or questions you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.